Hey, good Wednesday morning, everybody. It's meteorologist Brad Panovich. We've got the threat for some severe weather this afternoon, especially if we see some sunshine begin to break out across the area. And I think we're going to see several waves of it. There's not going to be just one wave, maybe a couple different waves. So let's talk about what's happening this morning. One thing that's helping us out right now is we've got some cloud cover out there. Now, how long that cloud cover actually sticks around? A little bit more of a question. You can see the clouds are pretty thick this morning. In fact, we actually had a little bit of rain move across the area. Uh, that is pushed off to the east, but you can see there's some breaks developing in the clouds. There's some showers back to the northwest, but what I'm keeping an eye on right now is that thunderstorm fuel. How much fuel for storms do we have? And it's starting to recover across a big chunk of the Carolinas, much higher to the south. And this is right now. So what I expect is going to happen today is we're going to see waves of, of showers and thunderstorms move in once this instability creeps up here and we start to see a lot more heating of the day. This cluster here is something to keep an eye on, and so is an area back to the northwest. Now, there's a couple things to watch for this afternoon. We've got a disturbance, an upper-level disturbance here over the Ohio Valley. You can see it on the water vapor loop. There's a couple of them embedded here. These are going to ride down and do like this. So as this next one arrives, it's coming out of Kentucky and Indiana right now. It's basically there. There's another one up here. These will basically push down later this afternoon. They're going to have a couple of things working in their favor. The first thing is we've got this stalled front which is going to be drifting back to the north. We've also got that disturbance I just talked about but then down here in parts of Texas we've got that old tropical disturbance. It's really not a tropical entity per se. It's more just a big blob of moisture that's going to be heading north and this is going to become a big player over the next couple of days because this is going to move up here these waves of energy coming down from the northwest, and then that stalled front's going to be sitting here. So the combination of all of that is going to give us days and days of rain. But today is by far the biggest severe weather threat that we have out there this afternoon. I'm going to stop this real quickly and just show you that severe weather threat today. You can see most of the Carolinas right now is either in the low risk or the medium risk. And you can kind of see that shape to it, kind of showing how that disturbance is expected to move today. It's going to come down and go like that. So pretty much across the entire WCNC viewing area, the Western Carolinas in that medium threat, and pretty much all the Carolinas will see some type of threat for severe storms. Now, the main concern today isn't tornadoes, though there is a 2% chance of that. It's really straight line winds and hail. Wind is the really big concern with this this afternoon. So let me show you how this unfolds um, looking at our future cast. Okay, so we'll leave the severe weather outlook on for a second. And mind you, remember, the, the orange is the medium threat. The yellow is the low threat. I'm going to take that off just so it's easier to see everything. And we'll start looking at our future cast. So we'll go through the morning hours, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Stop this right around noon. Notice what's going on over here in Kentucky um, and western Ten eastern Tennessee and central Tennessee. So eastern Kentucky, eastern Tennessee, even central Tennessee, even parts of southwest Virginia, we're starting to see a big cluster of showers and storms develop. These will start pushing to the east by about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. We start to see these move out um, east of the mountains. And this is where we could see some really strong winds. This indication right here is damaging straight line winds pushing in. So something to keep an eye on is basically what we call a QLCS. It's like a squiggly squall line. Could have some really embedded strong line of, of wind in it, but also could be some little spin-ups maybe in there. But I think wind will be, be by far our biggest concern. That pushes east by 4 o'clock. It's right across the Piedmont, so a rough afternoon commute. This will last into the evening hours. That pushes through, and notice how it begins to kind of push to the east, and we see a lot more. But then look back to the west. It looks like another round of severe weather could develop in parts of Tennessee. Now, this would likely not be as big an impact for us, but the fact that there are storms building up here in the Ohio Valley, these could move down uh, later tonight into tomorrow morning in the form of just regular thunderstorms, maybe not severe. So there could be a couple different waves. This is one o'clock in the morning and you can see the storms developing back here. So this could come through in the overnight hours, not as severe, mind you, but still rumbles of thunder. You kind of get the idea there's going to be a couple different waves of this through the next 24 hours. So let me loop this and you can see that first wave moving through that second wave building back to the west. And just look, I'll widen this out even further. All that moisture coming north, the combination of the stalled front, it is going to be a very wet several days here across the southeast. I posted the graphic yesterday showing uh, just how much moisture I expected to see across the area. Let me bring that up real quickly and I'll kind of show you um, the amount of precipitation that I think we're going to see over the next seven days. I'm going to put the one, days one through five in here. And you can see now this is the western Carolinas. And if you look right here, the areas back in here, you're talking three to five inches, maybe up to seven inches of rain. And then in here, about two to three inches of rain. So 
pretty heavy rain setup uh, for the next couple of days. So if you don't see rain today, and there's a pretty good chance you will at some point, you will see it eventually between now and the upcoming weekend. So a very active pattern. We went from 23 days with no rain to now seeing severe weather today and the potential for heavy rain over the next couple of days. And let me quickly show you that excessive rainfall outlook um, from the storm prediction or from the weather prediction center. So today, this is for rain, not for severe weather, mind you. So this is the chance of seeing flash flooding. Notice a slight risk across uh, parts of the Ohio Valley, but notice that lower end risk across the Carolinas tomorrow. That threat is still across the Western Carolinas, but as we go towards the weekend, you see that threat start to spread out. And this will be something to watch on Friday into Saturday, the potential for some heavy rain developing up here into the Carolinas. So a very active couple of days starting today with the threat for severe storms. So be weather aware today. I'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon. Grab the WCNC Charlotte weather app. We'll keep you up to date.